As each video begins, I always take a moment to uh, look at all those advertisements for other channels and companies, maybe even that, uh, well, submitted cars into this mail-in tournament, and so we're able to get their signs up there. Hey, everybody, by the way, I'm still Brendan, and I, I encourage you guys to check out those other places, like like Arlo and Expanded Universe and Slanman Customs, I think it's called, and there's a bunch of other ones there, but you know, I'm, I'm working off the top of my head here. Just, uh, you know, they work hard, I'm sure, I'm, and their companies and channels and whatever they do, and so definitely appreciate them a lot and appreciate that they submitted cars in and if they're over there on their channels and companies talking about this tournament well can't thank them enough as well we get going here next eight 81 to 88 do one above justin trotter daniel mg and douglas kimball first four here to race in this video six there's only two more after this at least for the races in front side until the finals will come and we'll have do one of do one above not do one above do one above uh coming in there with an easy five you're just way out in front look at the replay there you see well eh, some catch up there maybe but uh a lot of distance so far it has been a long tournament the last video was, I think, the first one where there wasn't an individual sweep threat by any stretch of the imagination. A lot of mix of, of racers and skill levels, and you just saw a lot of interesting finishes. And a lot of cars win who you wouldn't expect to even be winning. Very close, though, see, uh, seeing how the one above is doing... Uh, they might flop back towards that individual sweep threat. But this time, Daniel MG, big lead here. Might be out of the question, actually, in this set of four. Daniel MG, the one above is fast here in the near side, but there's not enough space. And Daniel MG will, will grab his first set of five points. And with that, this set of four is locked into an even battle even leaving room for Justin Trotter to work his way back in if he can pick up a few, well, five here. Douglas also close and in there. Um, got second in the first race, so I wouldn't count him out yet either. Near side, the MG, along with the Kimball. Rounding that first hairpin, looking like the MG, again, building a big lead here. The one above, just where did the speed go, right? I mean, it's just... Seems to be lacking here. MG, a lot of chances here down the back straight. Might be a chance for another five. He speeds towards the finish, and I think he's going to knock the Justin Trotter out of uh, contention. The one above, a little faster here than the Kimball, and we'll pick up. I'll pick up a solid three. Well, he's got. 11 points now to one above. But the MG there with 12. Only holding out there by one, but it's close. The King Kimball is still in it. He's got eight. Oh, well, he's got seven, sorry. But seven's enough. He still he still could, in theory, tie things up and, uh, and win if he manages to win this race. It's just going to be hard for him. He's not able to get out into the lead. Looks like the MG fast once again. The one above trying to stay in it. It's close to one above. Near side, far side. He zigs and zags, but oh, almost is beat out by the Kimball. He'll come in second, though. And the MG with another five. Bad start, I guess, in that first race. And then he took three straight fives. And you know the two that will be advancing. I think it's obvious at this point. 81 and 83. Let's get the second group going. Jammo, Grandpa Lance, Cody Irons, and Gravedigger. That's a good set of cars here. Let me try to get a sense of him here. Jammo near side, looking pretty solid. The rumble through that first turn. That may not be good. And then on the far side, we got the Gravedigger speeding. Well, I mean, that's a healthy lead if I've ever seen one. Look at the speed on that thing. The camera can't even keep up. Far side there. He stretches out towards the finish line, and he's got himself an easy five. Holy crap. I don't even know how to respond knowing that speed. 
He looks like, I, I mean, honestly, visually, I, I mean, he, he looks like 1.5 times the, the Daniel MG. So this could be, this could be a dominant day. But, you know, things change race to race, so you never know. Cody Irons was the one to pick up three, so maybe eyes on him as well. There's the Grandpa Lance who came up the rear, though, and he, he's off to a tough start. I think it's a spoilers in there. Not the spoilers, the, the giant pipes. I don't really know what to call those. I'm not a car expert, but um, I mean, that might be slowing him down a little bit. Here comes the grave digger. Holy crap, this thing is fast, fast, fast. No other cars even close by. And he's going to take it across the line here. I mean, there comes Jammo there. And the Cody Irons and Grandpa finishes backwards. Is that not? Those are some pipes. Those are, that's like a wrench. It's like a wrench head. Maybe the replay will reveal that even better. Yeah, that's a whole ass wrench head. What, what is that? Is I thought it was one of those giant like spoiler pipes or whatever. Usually that you see on those hot rods. That that is a that is a full wrench head on the back of the HW tools. Okay, written on the side. I guess that makes sense now. Near side, Cody Irons, Grave Digger. Oh, look at the lead build right there. You can just see, you can count the lengths as they build up quickly here. He's at like 10, 12, 15, 20 lengths ahead at this point. Come down towards that last turn, you're still building with maybe even upwards of 30 there. The whole turn in betwixt them. And here he comes to the finish line with another five. It, it, it's, it's easy right now for him. Here's the Cody Irons. Wow, nose block and full roadblock, spun into it. And he holds out for another three points. He's looking good for advance as well. But it all comes down to this last race from the, the other three cars' perspective. 3-2-3. Three, two, three. The 3-2-1 three, on the Jammo, so that there's a chance here. I, I will say I don't really know what the plan of one of the other three cars is should they advance. I don't really know what the where you go from there. I mean, it's one thing if you're losing by a few lengths, if you're making some mistakes. But, I mean, we're talking about a car who's just out 10, 20, 30 lengths even by the time he finishes. I mean, look at the straightaway here. This is like 12 already. I mean, it is it is unmatchable. And so I don't know, even if the Jammo here comes down and takes it, what what is the plan come in the, in the finals? Here's the Jammo for three, and the Cody Irons does get two, so that's enough for him to advance. And Jammo will come up one point short. I believe so, numerically. Grandpa, only five points there, though. That's not the worst we've seen. We've seen four points before. I think we might have seen three, but definitely four. And we'll see the Cody Irons here in the finals with the Gravedigger. Daniel MG, the one above. They're the only two that seem to have any hope maybe against the Gravedigger just because we haven't seen him race against the Gravedigger yet. Already lagging behind. Maybe the MG can hold pace slow and make something happen in the final straight. I, it's hard to tell. Here comes the big outside turn. I know he's working with inside versus outside line, so that may affect in the future races. Already many lengths ahead. No visual on the Cody Irons, I guess. I, I don't even know. Gravedigger's way ahead here. He's working on an individual sweep. He's got five. I don't really know what the... I mean, this is this is, the, this is kind of speed and also a car model that I just feel like we haven't seen before. And I don't even know how this would even compare to, say, Tribute Racing, um, who was, I mean, who had this kind of speed, but maybe not to this degree in the first video and end count... I'm um, blanking on the name of the Video 3's individual sweeper, but I remember, um, oh no, that would be the uh, NDR. No, the NDR was Video 4 and came up just short. So I'm blanking on Video 3, but I mean, I mean, just, just, you know, fill in the names. I mean, this just seems like even exceeding that capability, but we don't really know how these other cars compare to them. Here comes the Grave Digger. No one even close. Even the MG, not even close. And there's number six. Oh, wow. I mean, like, I, I don't want to downplay the sheer difficulty and honorability of the individual sweep it is a very hard thing to do to win eight times in a row 
um, especially when you have a, a, a basket of eight cars that are all racing against each other. It is very hard to be that consistent. It is very wonderful and honorable and um, noteworthy, it is a better word, to be able to do that. But, I mean, the Grave Digger's just making it look easy. The Grave Digger's making it not even look like an achievement. That's really how fast he is right now. Struggles around that one turn. Daniel MG, maybe a chance here. Will he challenge the sweep? They're close. Please, MG, make some noise, but it's just too quiet. Grave Digger. Seven wins, and not even a close race yet. Whoever put this car in. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Grave Digger's won, okay? He's won already. That's 15 points. I thought the MG was good. The Grave Digger. If he doesn't get an individual sweep, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. The MG, I think, is the only one who's got a shot. Gravedigger has an outside line this time. MG working on the inside lines. Maybe there's a chance. Right now, it's still close. MG trying to hold on. Even the one above still in there. But look at that acceleration. Here to the next straight. MG trying to hold some speed. Trying to keep himself in the game. Both with inside lines. To the final. And the Gravedigger's passed by the one above. He swerves as he enters and the fastest car I've ever seen will come up short of an individual sweep. I, I, I can't even believe it. I can't even believe what I just saw. He'll come up short of an individual sweep when he was up 30 lengths almost every other race. He will advance and he will be a force in the finals, but unbelievable to see that pass. Don't want above has got to at least be happy about that. But deservingly so, <laughs> the Grave Digger advances. Spots available in the Mario Kart Mail-In Tournament. You know that. Make sure you're getting over there to submit. <sighs> Facebook page, link in the description. Same with the Discord. Subscribe, all that. Notification bell. <laughs> we'll see you next time. I am. I am never cease to be amazed on this channel, I have to be honest. <laughs>